it's Sean. Another one of our series on the Conestoga. This time we're talking about interior inspection and some things to look out for inside. Be aware that these tubes are really delicate. They're just thin wall aluminum tubes. There's a plastic fitting down here at the bottom and it's got a spring on it so that these can flex a little bit as the trailer changes shape. So you need to be careful not to damage these with freight. 102 is going to be your maximum interior uh, dimension of your freight and then you have to load it really carefully so there's no deviation from that and you have to secure carefully so your cargo doesn't move. If you have a cargo shift inside of one of these things it's kind of a nightmare. So be careful about your cargo clearance and uh, when you're opening and closing do it cautiously so that you don't catch something on these and damage them or cut the tarp. A good way to spot if you have any flaws in your tarp is to use the front door to go inside the trailer on a sunny day so that you can see if there's daylight coming in through the tarp in any places. That's an easy way to spot any holes that you might have. Try to get those fixed early. If you have an incident with one of these and you tear the tarp, tape can be your best friend to try to control that rip so that it doesn't get any worse. And then if you have anything more than just a minor rip, please get in touch with the fleet department so that they can help you to mitigate the damage, maybe get it in for repair somewhere. Or in a worst case scenario, they'll give you instructions on how to take this kit and slide it all the way to the forward position and then use two inch straps to hold it closed while you get to a repair facility. Remember they're super delicate so you got to be really careful with them.